Oh, come on, dog. Come on, dog. <laughs> what are you doing? How are you doing? What are you doing? Are you a good boy? Are you my good boy? <laughs> I love my dog. Oh, he's a good boy. <laughs> Hi, Barry. Oh, Barry. Barry, you're a good boy, too. You're a good boy, too. You doing okay? All right. Boy, the pond is really down. We just haven't had enough. We haven't had enough rain this year, this fall, early winter. And so the pond's low. Fortunately, our water table here is pretty high. I, but anyway, we there's plenty of water here because there's water just under the soil. So that's not an issue. But the ponds, both this one and the one on the other side of the property, uh, provide water for the wildlife, for the deer, for the quail, all the little birds and other wildlife, wild turkeys, uh, possums and raccoons and squirrels and uh, armadillos. All of them get water from these ponds. So when they get too low, there's a lot more surface around them, and the pond is smaller. Therefore, if a predator comes after them while they're drinking water, they don't have as much distance between themselves and the predator because the water level is smaller. Hope that makes sense. So, we're fingers crossed we're going to get some rain. Um, this is the first day of December. And generally, this isn't a very wet period of time. Now, in a couple of weeks, we will be getting more rain. It's been chilly. It's been in the 50s, 40s and 50s. It's supposed to drop into the 30s tonight. It did last night. Um, so it's a little chilly, which is why I'm wearing a jacket. Uh, but that being said, uh, life is good here on the farm. I'm going to try and take you guys back to the back acreage one day. I've never done that before. Show you the cows and the bison. They're kept on separate property. The bison are wild, so they're allowed just to do what they want. <laughs> so I can't get real close to them as a rule. I actually have someone that comes out and when it's time to process them, there is someone that comes and euthanizes them and ethically processes them for the uh, Choctaw Nation, the natives, and that's a whole other story, and I'd love to cover that more in a future video, but today I just wanted to take some time and say how much I appreciate you all. I'm trying to work on some videos. Matter of fact, the video following this one, I'm going to be making four different soaps at once. You'll see what one day in my life is like. It's that busy. Uh, and it has been really, really busy. I associate a lot of that with the economy is slowly getting better. Things are still expensive. Um, I'm fortunate in that I have my own tallow. And I don't use a lot of olive oil. I have quite a bit of olive oil from back when it wasn't too expensive. So that's not an issue. I have almond oil and castor oil and... Uh, rose hip oil and a few other specialty oils. I do have those. So fortunately, I'm not having to spend a whole lot of money. My lye, uh, lye that is used to make the soap, that hasn't gone up much. Um, pennies, shipping fees have gone up. So getting the stuff here is a little more pricey. I'm buying a new truck, hopefully next week. I've already ordered it and I'll do a video on that if you're at all interested, but uh, I'll be going to pick up my supplies. Like from Uline, I'm spending over $1,000 a month and some months over $2,000 just in shipping to get my boxes and bottles, the things that I get from Uline, and it's quite a lot of money in shipping. Uh, and they're only about an hour and a half away, so when I get this new truck, my old vehicles aren't really set up to carry large loads. 
So that's why I'm getting a new truck. It can carry, I can go and pick all that kind of stuff up, cover it up, bring it home, and cost maybe 20 bucks in gas there and back total, um, which is much better than uh, like one, like recently, an order I just placed, $240 just in shipping charges, just in shipping charges. And I can't eat shipping charges, so I have to pass it on to my customers in the end. And so if I can save on those, I can save my customers some money too. And in this economy, every penny matters to everyone, right? <coughs> I wanted to introduce you to new baby Tina. She's the third or fourth Tina that I've had. Fourth. This is the fourth Tina. And I love the name because it generally means in my goats longevity and sweetness. And look at this face. Could you ask for any more sweetness? She's just adorable. Hey, Doug. <laughs> Come on, Doug. Come on up. Come on, Doug. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> anyway, the... I just wanted to introduce you. There are three new babies now. Um, two of them I'm having to bottle feed because their mother's rather weak. Uh, she's not doing a very good job. Sorry, I didn't realize. I still had my reading glasses on. Uh, the mother is weak. It's her first time giving birth, and so uh we were be able were able to give the babies the colostrum from the mother um but other than that she can't feed them she's too weak so they're having to be bottle fed every 2 hours this one it's much stronger aren't you <laughs> anyway i just wanted to share her with you i hope you're all having a terrific day we're having fun here on the farm and just wanted to take a moment and say hi. So, hi. Bye, everyone. Have a great day.